that's probably not a school that you wanna attend. You know, if they're trying to be shady about, oh, their accreditation status. What's up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. So PA interview and application season is in full swing. Some of you are already going to interviews and some of you still have applications that are waiting to be sent off to schools. So you're thinking, what's the deal with these developing programs or a new program or a program that is on probation? Should I even apply to these programs? The short answer is yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Apply to these programs. They are PA schools. They do have a place a plan set in place, especially those that are in developmental status with ARC. But um, you just have to do your research because if you do not know this, you have to graduate from an accredited PA program to actually sit for PANTS, which is your certification where you get your C. That's the test that you take to get your PAC or else you're not a certified PA and you cannot practice. So you definitely need to know what each status is talking about, what it means, and what that means for you as a pre-PA student or as a current PA student in one of these programs that is under that status. I already talked about ARC. So ARC is the accreditation body. It is the actual body or organization that goes and accreditates each school. So they can give them a provisional accreditation or um, if you've already been accredited, you'll have a continued accreditation status or you can be on probation because your school is not necessarily meeting certain standards set in place by ARC. So what do all of these mean? Well, I mean, continued accreditation is pretty simple, right? The school, it's been accredited already and they're continuing their accreditation. They're in good standing, great. Um, a lot of the times, a lot of these schools that have like, you know, really already set in place, they've been around for years, um, it's going to be super highly competitive for you to get into those programs. So let's say you don't necessarily have um, the best GPA or the most healthcare hours. You might want to start looking at some of the provisional accredited schools, which are the newer schools that have just gotten provisional accreditation from ARC. Um, what this means is that they have met the requirements set in place by ARC to be accredited. They're doing great. Um, they're looking good. They just need to pass their final test. So it's like you're doing great. You got the midterm degree. You know, you got your midterm grades out, and you're you're looking good. You got an A right now in the class. Um, but you just have to continue studying and putting out your required coursework to get the A on the final exam. And that is what what stage, I guess you can say, um, provisional accredited schools are at. You can go to ARC's website to see all of the accredited schools and developing programs. So I think um, there are currently 225 accredited schools, and that means those that are provisionally accredited or on probation or just have accreditation. Every school that has been awarded an accreditation status by ARC you're good. You can apply to those schools, look at when they will get their new like accreditation review because you like I said you have to graduate from an accredited school to sit for pans. So let's say you're the school that you're currently in, you apply to school first year, uh, it's on probation and it's been on probation for a year prior. And now um, in the year that you're applying, it's gonna be the second year that it's on probation and they're gonna get reviewed um, the following year. So if that school does not pass its review and their accreditation is pulled, you will not be able to sit for pants because you will not be matriculating through an accredited school. So that is the dilemma that you face when dealing with developing programs and programs on probation. You really have to go to ARC's website, go to that website, look at their list of developing programs, look at their list of all the accredited programs, look at when the program started, that will be able, you'll be able to just 
tell the age of the program and then look at when their next review is. That is very, very essential because in that you will be able to gauge, all right, well, if I apply now and their review is not until 2020, then I will be graduating from an accredited school, right? But if I apply now and their review is next year, there's a possibility that I will not graduate from an accredited program, which is not a good thing because you have to graduate from an accredited program to sit your pants. So that is like key. Developing programs are not a bad thing, you guys. Like that is a misconception. You're, these schools are, some of these developing programs are from schools that are actually like well-known medical schools. Like Mayo Clinic is now um, developing a PA program. Meharry, um, Morehouse. So these are like well-known med schools that are now developing PA programs. So if you're leery about going to a PA program that is developing in Iowa that you've never heard of before, then take the time, look around and on ARC's website and see schools that maybe you have name recognition to. They have an established med school or you know some other college or health science um, based college that they're established in, then you should probably feel a little bit more comfortable applying to one of those developing programs because they have an established foundation. With respect to any schools on probation, I didn't necessarily apply to any of them because I was like, well, what does probation mean? Does that that means that, you know, like they're not doing what they need to do. I was a little disenchanted by that. I, I really didn't do my research prior to looking at those schools to see like, okay, well, so probation means this or that, like what exactly does it mean to be on probation? But ARC breaks it down on what each probation status means, like what a D means, which means that um, it's at other campuses, what a hashtag or the number sign means, which means that the school was previously closed, but now is has has a it had a period when it was previously closed down. So all of these things you take them into consideration when looking at the schools that you want to apply to. And don't be afraid. Like let's say you got an interview to one of these schools that are either provisional or um, developing or on probation. Don't be afraid to ask them about, hey, what does your status mean? What would that mean for me as a PA student um, or as a pre-PA student? If I were to now come into your program, what does that mean for me going forward? Will I be able to sit for pants? Um, I think that they'll almost look at that as, hey, this person knows what they're talking about. They know that they have to matriculate through an accredited program to sit for pants they've done their research, it holds them to a type of accountability, right? If they're not willing to answer those questions, that's probably not a school that you want to attend. You know, if they're trying to be shady about, oh, their accreditation status. Oh, okay. No, you don't want to be there. So do your research. If it's not an issue to apply to these schools, but just know exactly what you're getting into. And one way you can figure that out is by going to ARC's website. So um, I will leave that website on the screen and also in the description box below. You can check it out along with going to the uh, NCCPA, which is the certification body for PAs. That's where you will get all of your information on your pants tests in terms of your how many questions are on the exam, um, what is required for you to actually even take the exam. So you know going forward, hey, this is exactly where I stand, this is what I need to do, and this would be the best route for me. Okay, so as you guys are applying to schools, just keep these things in mind. Um, it's not a bad thing to apply to any developing program or probational um, status program. You just have to know exactly what you're going into. So just be informed, right? The best, the best place for you to be right now is to be informed because this is your career and your life and pretty much at stake or in your hands and you want to make the best, most informed decision that you can possibly make. Hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any more suggestions on videos, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. I will be sure to get back to them. Um, and if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Join me on this journey. Love you guys. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.